Hi guys, Ham here. Um, I've been asked recently from many people around how to do baits and how to bait up hooks. Now, on our page, as you're well aware, we've done uh, Kawai Comp and we've got the Kids Club. A lot of people have never caught Kawai, never gone for them, so they've joined the, the page and like what we do, gone out, got themselves a simple setup and they want to get out there and catch fish. So, uh, if you're baiting hooks and, and catching, all good to you. Keep doing what you're doing, no problem. This is a simple video on how to do the basics of baiting a uh, hook um, for a ledger rig, sabiki for the kids, for that are in the kids club. Some people don't know how to stick little bits of bait on, they stick big chunks on like you're in the ocean. So I'm going to take you through the tips of what I do with my boys when we go out and catch 20, 30 uh, sprats when we go out. Um, kids love it, so we're, we're all started. And then basically right up to ledger rigs. Um, how I do my pilchard, which would be the same for my piper and my uh, anchovies. I do it all very similar with the stuff I'm tying on. Um, and then basically I just talk about squid because I don't have any, I hardly ever use it and don't need any bait buddy, so I talk that part. And then basically on the uh, sledger rigs, which is any ledger rig would work. And then uh, going into my live baiting, so I don't have a jack mac of course, I've got frozen pilchard, so I let one of those thaw out a little bit and uh, just show you where I place the hook if it was a live jack mac that I'm putting down for a kingfish or a John Dory. So I've just taken through the basic stuff. So like I said, there's plenty more uh, um, ways and techniques and different ways of baiting. This is just a video of simple stuff that me and Ty do, it works for us, and we're just sharing our knowledge of what we do with you guys. We know plenty more, but we're not gonna complicate things. This is just a simple video for those getting started. So by all means, we hope this helps you out in getting out there and catching some fish. All right, so I've got a little sabiki, uh, sabiki line here. Um, it's a six hook, but I'll just show you three hooks. So there's your first, second, and your third. Now the easiest way to rig these up, this has got a sinker on it down there, is um, I use steak. So at this stage I've got a diced steak. So all I use with the kids when I'm on the wharf is literally go get a packet of diced, diced steak from your supermarket. I mean, that's 12 bucks for a whole thing, and that's done plenty of fishes. It's been in the freezer and she's frozen, but I've uh, sliced a few bits off. Now what you want to do is just get a little tiniest little bit. And when you bait your hook, these are only tiny little hooks. Now I have great success with the kids on the wharf just by using steak and just go through once. And then bend it over and go back through twice. And that's all it is there on that little tiny hook. So it's literally just through once. Pulled, bent and sort half again and just with the tip of the, the hook just sticking out. Don't know if you can see that, but the, just of the tip of the hook is sticking out. And I do that along all six of them, so I've cut like three bits of eight because I'm only showing you three hooks. So I've done three little bits and I'll do up the next two. Um, and then that's how you do it. And then basically you just drop it down. Um, I know definitely at Foxton and Wharf you have a lot of success with this. Um, the baits go pretty fast, so they get chewed off pretty fast. So you want to put it down. Once you get a few nods, See if you can strike a little spratty or uh, bring them up and rebait. Now the thing with uh, doing this and, and the wharf side of things, on the boat you just heat up those uh, th those fibres and just chuck it straight down. You don't need to worry about doing all this stuff, um, baiting them at all. You can catch liveys without bait if you're looking for Jack Max. But for the little spratties and the little herrings, they like a little bit of bait as a bit of an enticer. Um, chuck it down there, feel them, bang, give it a bit of a pull, a bit, bit of the old jerk with the old rod. And you feel them and then you'll be hooked up and we catch like 20 30 when we go out with my boys they have a lot of success and that's exactly what i do there's no secrets this is exactly what i do it's exactly what i use and uh you know any sabiki rig is good and we have great success on most days and any tides down there just drop it down and uh by the boat ramp there and you'll you'll hook up and uh, slay the fish great for kids school holidays getting them out getting them into fishing catch them their first little sprat fitting the fight on the rod um, get used to them hooking up their bait on small little hooks and then um, taking the fish off and uh, you know looking after those fish and putting them back or or taking them home giving them to your cat or dog some people do with those little spreadies but um, definitely a um, a great way to uh, introduce them to a um, side of fishing anyway start them off that's where that's where I started this is where anyone can start little spread little rig little sabiki rig they come with a sinker some of them some do some don't get the ones with the sinkers they come with a hook, you tie it straight to the, uh, uh, stick a swivel on your, your rod, stick that clip straight on and drop it down. Easy as, bait up, drop and go. Alright guys, got some pilchard here. 
show you how I'm going to uh, rig that up. So it's a salt and pilchard. So when I cut it, I cut it on an angle. Like so. So the angle's like that. So this is the tail here. And uh, what I'm going to do is place that on the sledge rig. So I've got a sledge rig here. Got a sledge rig skirt in that there. So I'm going to slide the skirt away from the sledge rig or the hook. So it's by exposed by itself. The way I bait these up is I go through the skin straight through the side. This is a simple way of baiting. Hook comes out, push it up through, turn it, and then bring it back out through the, the body again. And then what happens is that can sit. You push that hook right up so it sits flat. Then you tie your bait buddy if it's fresh pilchard around this bit here. Salted, no need, no need bait buddy. Just flip the skirt back over it and that's baited ready to go. That's what it looks like there. Top hook, slide the skirt down, expose the hook. For the head, go through the eyes, like so, through the eyes, pull it through, this is how I rig up a head, pull it all the way through, and then I grab that and go through the back just behind the, um, and then pull it back down just behind the um, plates there, the gill plates. Then you pull it back down, and that's flat. And then you wind your bait buddy, your bait buddy in it, you wind it around the hook and the top of the head there to hold that down firmly to the nose. Stick your skirt over top, and that's ready to, to cast out. So that's obviously got a glow bite disco clip on that by the swivel. That will be to your rod. And uh, there's your uh, rig ready to go. There's your first hook coming up to your second hook, all ready to go. That's uh, how that works. So that's how I bait uh, pilchard straight on to a uh, ledger rig type setup. So, uh, bait buddy. So, we've got that there. That's your tail on, um, on your fresh pilchard. Uh, basically, you'll pin those there together, get your bait buddy out, stick the elastic band over, and then you start winding. So, this is how you, you tie up your baits. You go right the way down the shaft of the tail, and then come back up then round through that part of the hook there so you can see the the hook is exposed there and then I'm going up and around pulling that through keeping that tight there all the way up to the top more winds the better and then I'm going to finish off with a wind it down towards the tail and a couple of half hitch hooks so just round make it make a loop put it over the tail so make a loop go through there put the tail through Get that through there, it's getting caught on the fins is the hardest part. Tighten it and do it again. So create a loop, put it through, hook it up and again. Do that if you want, just make a loose loop, put it over however you want to do it. Really? And then what you do there is pull it up tight. And that's like a half hitch, rip it off and then you're good to go. So that's your uh, your bait tied on, ready to go for the big currents. Ain't gonna come off, that's fresh pilchard. This is salted stuff, but it's exactly how I'd rig up my uh, my fresh stuff. So that's how I do the pilchard on a, uh, on a hook, ready for casting or putting down in the boat. And that's how I tie my baits on. Just tie that back up so it's wrapped around that. With bait buddy. Um, squid, easy as, I chop them into threes, hook straight through, just once, and then chuck it out. That stays on the hook, so uh, never had any issue with squid surf casting or on the boat with having to tie it up with a bait buddy. So this is more around your, um, your jack max, your, your live baits, your little pilchards, your, you know, your type of um, anchovies where you'd normally stick them through. I bait them all the same. Um, so yeah, next time I'm going to do is a, if you have a live bait, I'm going to use dead pilchard, but if you have a live jack mac or, um, uh, you know, heron or live pilchard or a piper, I'm going to show you how I do those for live baits, both for, um, differently, one for kingfish, um, which I'll show you on my kingfish setup, and, um, I haven't got a John Dory setup, I haven't made one up, but I'm going to start making those rigs for you as well, and, uh, John Dory, and where I hook the live bait as to what fish I'm going for, 
um, and I'll take you that through uh, through that next. All right, guys, uh, done a little bit of a um, dead bait baiting hooks and explain squid. I haven't got any on me. I don't use it much myself. Um, pilchards, herons, um, anchovies, uh, piper, that sort of stuff there. Uh, I'm now going to take you through as if this is a jack mac. So this is dead pilchard. It's a frozen pilchard, but I'm going to show you how I rig it up if it's a live bait. So she's in the live bait tank, and I uh, grab the old back of the fish here from the top, and then I bring it up, and this is how I hook it up. So first, let's look at my kingfish rig. So this is my kingfish rig, live baiting rig, which I use a, uh, I do use a uh, glow bite jig, the flashing light, and then it goes up to 160 pound leader, two meters off, up into this beautiful live bait hook here, which is a size nine uh, live bait rig. So that's my live bait setup. So for this, we want to put the little fishy uh, through onto this so it can swim around with this in its, in its nose. So with the fish here, all right, you've got its eyes, you go through just in front of the eyes, you've got a nose, bit of a bit of a nostril. So what I do is for live baiting for kingfish is I go through here and that's it there. Basically that is it. And then I drop it down. That's swimming around, kingfish come from the front, bang whack it, the hook goes up, sets and you're into the kingfish. Um, you've got to give it time to eat. But that's where I go for kingfish, I go through the nostril like so. If I'm going for a John Dory, live baiting for John Dory, which is a great way of catching John Dorys, then I stick my hook in a separate place. And just up on the dorsal fin here at the top, you've got a fin here just in front of it, straight down and through the back and then up and out like that. And that's how I set my hook in the live bait with that. So that there's swimming around now. Like that, you drop it down, swims around. Uh, John Dory suck, they got the big telescopic mouths, bang, straight in, boom. Now what usually catches the John Dory is not the hook. The hook is on there to hold your live bait. What usually catches the John Dory is this dorsal fin. They come in this way, shut their mouth. That dorsal fin there with the fish, they put that up, so it's got a big spike up here. That hooks the John Dory. And when you bring it up, that's hooked in its mouth so it can't let go. Because what happens is they go this way and then it sticks up that way. It's sort of acting like a, it's like that, it can't pull off. Because the spikes lift that way, the mouth's this way, it hooks into there. That's what hooks your fish. Now, they do have soft mouths, but at the same time, if you bring a John Dory out of the water, they sometimes can do a kick, which lifts that up, that fin drops down, they let go. That does happen. So you lose a lot of John Dory that way. So the best way to get a John Dory is bring it to the surface, have it just under the water, keep the tension on, get the net, and scoop up the John Dory. Um, bring them out of the water, you risk, I would say 90% of them would let go, and you lose your fish, you watch it swim away. So always use a net when you're grabbing those. Um, when it comes to the, um, generally, you can still see the fish in its mouth when you when you catch those. Um, however, generally with kingfish, when they smack this, the bait's pretty much disintegrated, generally, and it's just the hook that's left, so it rips out through the nose and it's hooked inside the kingfish. So that's how my two ways that I use um, for live baits is John Dory through the back ear and kingfish straight through the nostril at the front. Um, that's myself and what I use. There are different ways, there are plenty of different ways of rigging up these rubber band ties, there's all sorts of stuff. I've never done any of that, so I don't speak on stuff I don't know about, only the stuff I know about. So, um, I mean, by all means, there's plenty of ways, plenty of different um, techniques and strategies out there. This is just some of the stuff that I've put together for simple man's terms to get out there, get yourself a rig, set yourself up, and go catch some fish. Cheers.